Hey, can I do just one more while I'm sitting here? Thank God God's good. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Or I'm going to say it this way. Oh, taste and see that the word is good. You got to taste it. You need to see that God is a good God. He's good all the time. His blessings are overtaking both me and you. Like I said yesterday, the tea's good, but I got to partake of it. Well, God's good. The word's good, but the Bible says my people are destroyed uh, for lack of knowledge. So don't sit around and say, well, you know, what am I supposed to do? Rebuke the devil. Remember this. Jesus, here in Mark chapter 4, said we're going to the other side. Well, what did he do? He rebuked the wind. So what you got to do is when sickness is trying to come on you or lack is trying to come on you. No, no. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Don't be like the disciples where Jesus said, why is it that you have no faith at all? If Jesus is your Lord and the word works, which it does, then what you got to do is believe it, get it in your heart and boldly say it. I've had to do this so many times. I've had to tell my body, you're healed. I mean, I've had, I've had some opportunities, man. I've had some sicknesses come on me that the doctor said that there was no hope for. I mean, I'm not supposed to be even walking. The doctors told me years ago I'd never walk again without a walker. Uh, you know, and I go snow skiing, water skiing, motorcycle riding, uh, climb up on the house if I want to, do anything I want to, have perfect balance. Because I found a verse that says that God is a just God and he's got perfect balance. And if he's got perfect balance, then that'll work for me. I rebuke the symptoms. Now, every now and then, the symptoms try to come back on me, and the devil says, God lied to you. But I say, hey, devil, you're the liar. God is true. Let every man be a liar. I've had to take authority over my financial situation. Oh, man, uh, over and over and over. I mean, I'd be broke. Didn't have enough money to pay the bills. Stack of bills that high. I told you a couple of weeks ago. Had bills in there past due. I went in there and I talked to them. I picked them up, laid them on the table, said, Bills, I'm talking to you. I, pay, I I call you paid in the name of Jesus. I didn't have no money. Money started coming in. I paid the bills. But since then, I got a few more. But you know what? It's the same thing all the time. And I'm not going to have Jesus say to me, why is it, Frank, that you have no faith when he gave me charge over my money? He gave me charge over my body. I say to my wife every day, honey, you love me. Now, I also say to her every day, probably 20, 30 times a day, I love you. And she says, and yes, and I love you. But I also tell her, you love me. I don't take it for granted that she loves me. Now, go get offended if you want to. I realize I'm a wonderful husband. <laughs> I'm a great guy, okay? And, and everybody be blessed to have one like me. But I'm not going to take that for granted. I say, you love me because I'm in charge of her. She's also in charge of me, and she says, yes, and you love me. We control everything that goes on by faith and using our words, and we spoke, speak forth the power of the Word of God. I will not let what the world says I have to have have it. I'd rather believe what God said in His holy Word. I'd rather believe that, say that, rather than say, oh my God, what am I going to do now? I'm not going to say that. I'm only going to say what the Word says, and I'm going to let the Word be the deciding factor in my life. And if I'll speak the Word, I'll have faith in God and not ever be in a place where, like Jesus said of the disciples, he says, why are you so full of fear? You see, you get full of fear. I'm going to say it real bluntly. You let fear come in until you're full of it. Jesus said, why are you so full of fear, so fearful? You get full of fear, then you'll also get in the place that you have no faith. And Jesus said that to him. Why is it or how is it that you have no faith? I'm going to tell you how it is. It's how is it that you have no faith because they let fear in the natural circumstances override. And that looked more real to them than the word where Jesus said, let us pass over to the other side. Yeah, I've been there. Don't sit there and think, well, you know, he don't know what I'm going through. Oh, I've been there. I've been through some situations that I thought, dear God, I mean, there ain't nothing like this in the whole world. But I remind you that there's no temptation taking you, but such as it's common to man. But God is able who will make the way of escape. Now, we have three little boys. Now, they're all grown, 50, 49, and 44, I think, and a 37-year-old daughter. But when they were little, I taught my boys how to hunt. 
Uh, that's a Southern thing. I like to say a Southern thing. We all like to hunt. You know, that's just something that we do. And so each of my boys had a gun. They had a little rifle and a shotgun. And I remember one day, I'm not rem real sure which one of it was. They came in and said, Dad, there's a snake out there. Big old snake. What kind of snake, son? Think it might be a rattlesnake. I said, well, well go get your shotgun. You can take care of him. You see, I wasn't saying... Well, just go out there and be bit. That snake's for your good. No, he's got a shotgun. He knows how to take care of that snake. Well, you have faith. You know how to take care of that storm. You know how to take care of that lack. You know how to take care of that sickness that's trying to come on you again. You know how to do that. Get your shotgun. Get your weapons of our warfare, which are not carnal, but mighty through God. And just go out there and say, devil, bug off. Get away. I rebuke you. <clears throat> I rebuke the storm. I rebuke the lack or whatever it is. Do like Jesus did and not be in a place where he says, why is it that you have no faith? Because you have the gift of faith, which is enough. Woo! I don't have time to preach this. God hath dealt to every man. <clears throat> you have the same measure of faith that I have or Brother Hagen had or Brother Copeland has. I mean, you got it. Use it. Don't let it get away from you until I'm with you tomorrow, saints. Hey, <laughs> remember, hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.